Look who I found. Right here. The squirrel buddy. Listen to the squirrel noises. Well, I'm heading, getting ready to head to the river. I'm going to give you gas and then I'm going to go try to find me an arrowhead and my sifter for a Christmas present for myself. And look at this good boy. Look here. Peeking out. He peeking out. He's got an ass back in there. That's my pet squirrel, squirrel man. He's in lots of videos. I'll get back on the river later. Well, I'm out here on the river. I'm heading over to the West Virginia side. I might even give up the Ohio side way up there a few miles, I don't know, but I'm gonna look for some ancient Indian artifacts. We'll see if we can't get something awesome that's a few thousand or more years old. I'll get back. I'm gonna be sifting. Well, I got something here. Within the first half dozen screens, I'm sifting in the water. Using my box, I'm using my older one. I just bought one of these, um, a new one. And if you're wondering, this is the best screen ever for water. Um, it's the perfect surface area of screen to really fan the stuff out. You see all the little flakes. There's lots of little flakes here. When you're looking for this stuff, it's not going to do you no good to just get out and sift places. It, see all this cracked up fired rock? This is why I'm finding stuff. This is exploded campfire rock that was from around campfires anciently. And see, there's little flakes all in here. Right here's just three I picked out. These are finishing flakes from the manufacture of ancient artifacts. But I got a knife. Um, it ain't bad. It's nice material. You see it? It's right there. It's got a stack on this side. I already picked it up. Might be a preform for a point and they couldn't get that stack off. But look at that material. It's gray with black spots. That's pretty cool. Later. Yeah, here's this first little knife. Give you a, it's dried off. But it's made out of a little river cobble. But that's some cool looking material, isn't it? Some spots on it. It's got that stack on it. It's almost like a humpback scraper. It's got yeast on it. Use polish, but that's kind of cool. Later. All right, this is what I stand and do. I'm in like eight inches of water right below a little cut bank. It ain't very high, but it's high enough because the water's higher here than it was in Indian times. So this is just like being up in the middle of a cornfield and it getting washed two, three foot deep. That's why. Um, but there's a heck of a layer in here on the base clay that's washed out of that bank of rock and there's flakes all through it. Um, this is all I'm doing is scooping up that stuff very slowly, feeling for the base clay with the tip of my shovel and just scooping that stuff up. I just, you can feel how good the layer is. There's stuff laying here right at my feet. I just gotta find it. Stuff and as I mean, ancient Native American artifacts. They're all around me here. It's just getting them in my sifter. All right, I'll get back here. We'll sift this down. Just hold on. That should be enough. Yep. You should be seeing flakes. And there's flakes in every screen. Right there's one just right off the bat. And there'll be more. You want to be seeing the flakes and then you'll get the the artifacts. Um, flake this stuff off. I don't see any airheads. There's another little finishing flake right there. There's two right there. There'll be more little finishing flakes in here. I don't see any points. I'd have seen them by now. But I will get back. I wanted to see what I'm doing. And I'll get back on my first next find. I already got that knife. Later, these screens. Here's a big, I just saw this right off. There's a big creed blade. It's really creed. 
and there's a fleek of Flint Ridge. Man, these screens are loaded. Later. All right, I'll get over there and show you. There's a lot of really nice fire rock laying in here. You know, you can see it out in the water too. I got the water muddied up, but it's there was just a bunch of it laying in here, and I got a real nice little piece. I've been out here at least two hours. Um, I got some more, I found some broken airheads and stuff, but they're up in my boat. I thought they were still in my pocket. I just picked this up in the water a little bit ago. I didn't film it. I didn't know it was a point. It's a tip made of, off like a tool or something. It's Flint Ridge, it's all worked. But I got a little drill and it looks like a Madison drill. In the last time I was here, I found a real nice little like Madison looking drill thing. There's real nice flakes. You want to be seeing these flakes. There's another one. But you see it? There's another flake. Right there. Right there it is. It's a little Madison drill. It looks really cool. Might not be a Madison drill, but it looks like it. It's a little drill. That's pretty cool. Little driller. It's got a little like use on the tip it's kind of like blunted around that's cool it look nice in my madison frame it's a madison drill it's not bad little drill huh nice find later after only being out there like three hours that was a pretty good day that's a cool little drill it's all polished up in here it's been it's drilled something i mean right up in there it feels like a or polished rock up in here at the tip. It's just, I'd say it drilled a piece of wood and just drilled several pieces of wood. That's pretty cool. Especially how, I mean, I wish you could feel it. This feels like a smooth, like a piece of porcelain on base sides. Huh, very cool. That's an ancient, probably about a thousand year old drill. It's a mat made from a Madison point. It's been turned into a drill. Pretty cool. Later. All right, I got another artifact. Well, actually, I see two in here. Well, I just caught there's two little, like, knives. Man, I'm getting into some good areas here now. Maybe find something real nice. But the first piece is right here. It's a little knife. Man, that's paper thin. That is nice, actually. Look at the thinness of it. And it's got that curved edge. It's got use on it, too. That's a nice little tool. That's frameable. Look at the thinness. Man, that's nice. And there's something else in here. And this is the next screen after the drill right here. Looks like a perforator or something. It's another little knife, but it's got damage here. I thought that looked like a perforator, but it's broke. Another piece. I'll look through the rest of this. I haven't even looked through all of it. Later. You know, here's this little knife. It's not a bad piece. That's the cutting edge. You can see it there. It's got some use on it. Look at the nice thinness of it. Just made out of a little... Right there's the cortex of the river cobble. Right there to tip of my finger. Just a little pebble made into a little knife. Could have been hafted. That would do a lot. Later. All right, I'm getting out of here. The sun's almost over the hill. It's the shortest day of the year. But I got some stuff. I've only been out here like three hours. That nice knife, this other one, that's nice. That thin one. Little Madison drill, several broken pieces. There's a broken point I didn't film. It's blown up right there's the notch on the right. It's just all blown up. Another tip that's Flint Ridge. It would have been nice, but that's pretty nice here. And a nice knife. There'll be some... I found a few marbles the other day. I'll put some clips up next in the dump digging for vintage toy marbles. Hope you enjoyed. Later. Yeah, I thought I'd show you this. This is the last few pieces I found this week. There's the knife from today and the nice uh, Madison drill there. And I just found that Madison in the middle and that Amos point in some of my last videos. I'll show you this. That blue is just felt cut to put in this raker case looks nice in there with that blue well anyway i wanted to show you that merry christmas i'm going back out again tomorrow try to find some more stuff later all right i'm up here in the woods i wasn't going to come out today it's rained and i went to the river this morning i've been finding arrowheads 
and as soon as the river got down yesterday to right to where it needed to be the little bit of rain pushed the water up and now it's it went up two feet overnight which ruined it so i'm up here i don't know where i'm gonna dig here yet i'm looking around for a new honey hole right off where i've been finding marbles up here is what i'm looking for in this trip you can see there's stuff all over this hill. I just got to get in good spots that are easy digging. I want to try around in here maybe someplace. I did real good right down there, so there's got to be stuff up here too. I'll get back when I get a hole opened up and I start finding stuff later. Well, I moved holes from over here. I was digging over there a few videos ago, about 10 yards. But I'm down in here. There's a big piece of concrete right here, but I got a marble and it's a bumblebee and this will be a day maker. Wasn't even going to come out today, like I said, and haven't been finding much. Was just getting ready to leave, and I got right down to that layer. It's right down about where my rake's at. I rake this right out. Check it out. This is a classic for a marble collector. It's called a bumblebee. Oh, look at that purple. Oh, that's all purple, it looks like. It's made by Marble King Company. Man. This is more than a day maker. Look at, I'll have to show you this with a good camera. This is an exotic. This is an exotic blended bumblebee with purple, red, orange. That's hold on. Now look at that right here. Big purple strip with a, like a beige line going through it. That's a beauty. Man. All right, later. Well, I thought I'd show you this real quick so you could see it better. Look at that purple streak with the yellow streak through it. I haven't got this cleaned yet at all. It needs soap, but that's real nice condition, and that's a pretty nice bumblebee for one of my marble frames. Thanks for watching. It's only taken me like an hour and 20 minutes, and I'm finally down to a layer that I feel confident I'm going to find stuff. Right when I got to it, I see a diet. I think it's a right cola. Right there, it'll be a pretty cool looking bottle. I'll show you here. Yeah, that's nice enough to take. Diet like soda. I'll take that from Trader. Play that. It looks like there might be a whole pile of them in here. There's a whole pile full of bottles here. There's another Diet like cola there. There's something. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's a frosty old fashioned root beer. And that's perfect. Had a wall clean up. It's got a little like frosty snowman guy on it. And then back here's another diet rate cola. You can really get into see. That's green bottle. That's pretty nice. It'll wall clean up. There's three ACLs worth a few bucks each. Hopefully I can find some marbles. I ain't looking for bottles. I mean I can only collect marbles. I trade most of them bottles and stuff unless they're real old ones. I'll keep some of them. But I'll get back here. This looks excellent. I got a place to dig. See right there. Another blue little jar. I find them all day long though. But people want them. Later. I see another diet like cola. There's probably just a pile of them. There's bottles all back in here. I found marbles right above and below me too. Yeah, these are just nice. Look at them. Diet like cola. Three of them. I'll get back. Hopefully I can get into a nice pocket of marbles. Find a few more. And then come back and really find a bunch of them over the next couple days until the water goes down in the river. Yeah, there's a 7 up ACL. Huh. So it's too bad that one's not whole. Later, see the marbles were going to be here. I got one right here. I'm right down to the right kind of layer and the right age of trash right here. Looks like it just could be a cat eye, but we'll see. Oh, that's a vitreo, I think. It's a caged cat eye. Hold on. It's pretty nice. You, know, you can see that right there. I'm not sure that that's really a caged cat eye. It's some kind of odd one. It's nice, though. Later. Well, I'm back on the marbles. Well, look here. I'll show you some of the stuff I'm digging out of here. Here's a very odd bottle. This is an old one. I'd say it's 40s. Now it's 39. But it's got stars all over it. It would have been ACL, I think. That would have been cool. There's big pieces of Crocs. And I think I got a marble back in there. There's another big piece of Crocs. 
but that's about how deep I need to be to find the marbles, about as long as my rake going back in this hill at an angle. But this looks green. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a nice one. Ooh. What do we got here? Man. I thought it had orange on it, but that's rust. It's a real nice green one. Just an average one. I'm gonna soak this one, see it's all steamed out, but that's nice. Real vibrant green. Huh, another one, so I'm on them. There's a lot of marbles here. Hold on, I'll get back. I'm gonna get out of here, it's real late in the day. I just wanted to come out and do a little bit, but I got some fawns. I just raked this out too, I didn't film it. That's a Sistersville, it says Sistersville on the bottle right here. Art Deco, suitable bottle, it's perfect. It's only worth a few dollars, that one, like four. But I'll add clips to this. I got a hole prepared here, I can find some stuff. So I'll come back here, I'd stay longer, but I dug up there, down there, and I was already tired when I got up here. There's some promise. Look at these big pieces of these crock shards in here. But I'll get back, there's sodas too, nothing real great, but the marbles is what I'm after, and there's some in here, later. All right, I was walking out of here and I was, it, we've been getting some rain and you can see all these bare spots of where I've dug. So any place where I've dug, I walk it after it rains. You can see here, you see it? I got a surface fund. And look at this. There's a base off a real old mason jar. That's probably an 1858 one, real aqua. But I got a marble. It's just a marble king, nothing to brag about, but it's right here. Where I must have missed this when I was, I found a bunch of marble kings in here last winter you can see my little trenches all through there all around this tree all the way over in there to where i'm digging today got one laying out so that's four or five on this trip that's pretty nice it's a marble king probably 1960s early 1960s well anyway that's it for me let's see what i got here four or five marbles four the bumblebee's the nicest, that's a daymaker. These other ones are just average. But, it's what I'm looking for, they're all frameable. Later.